Hello and welcome back, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more Crusader Kings 2, Legacy of the Indo-Norse East Gotland. Alright, uh, we are still Jarl Otter of Schmaland. We've got a beautiful fancy mask, um, we also have this nice little, like, circle ring thing on our head, which is cool. Uh, we don't have a beard though, and we need a beard. Beards are super important. Apparently going this way changes the background? Oh, that's beautiful. Wait, go there. Now that is a manly man. We're gonna just, you know, distract from the disfiguredness of our face with lots of facial hair. Instantaneously, it's great. So we still have hunting focus. Uh, let's see, how's our health doing overall? We got 0.5 from that. We're brawny, that's plus 1.5 total. Viking gives no health. Scarred is just prestige. Uh, disfigured is not a health mal, it's just diplomacy and then people don't think we're pretty. Uh, and then we've got the hunting dog we had, but it's gone, and then we got one from the hunting focus, and then one from a random event. So we should be, like, average of five is the, the normal amount for a character. And actually, I wish I could turn on the, the debug mode just to see the number, because it's kind of interesting sometimes. 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 3 so maybe like 8.5 health right now, which is kind of nuts, I think. But, um, I think I'm gonna switch off hunting focus in favor of a scholarship focus so that we can write a book. I want to write a book. Let's go to theology focus, actually, so we actually keep the health bonus. And that'll still be enough learning to potentially let us write a fancy book. Alright, let's go ahead and let some time pass, and then we can go and compose a book. We're now just barely smart enough to learn how to read and write. When I inform my council of my intentions to compose a piece of literature, they nod eagerly. Naturally, my wise lord, anything else would be doing your people a disservice. The council member's face reddens as I brush off the compliment. What topic will you be treating? Other, another continues. Uh, obviously, we need to write about war, since like, it's like the only thing we're actually good at. 25 marshals, pretty solid. We have a favor. We have a du jour claim. We can try to imprison someone. We can create the titular duchy of Visby. All right. So, uh, also, we're starting to make a new... Th Thing. I think we're currently in the process of like smithing. I, I I stopped. Hopefully, I didn't just mess up the white bear by switching to a different focus. All right, so that guy's no longer gonna do their plots. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Known plots. My liege wishes to revoke the chiefdom of Vicken. Chiefdom of Vicken. Part of the Duchy of Ostlandet. My liege currently owns none of Ostlandet. And he just wants to revoke it anyway. Interesting. Uh, well, let's offer to join because I don't really care if we get caught. And uh, also, sure, let's join his peasant revolt war. Just that he likes us a little bit better. He is our actual liege now these days. Still waiting for this guy to die. King Sigurd Ring of Saxony, 69 years old. As he's growing older, I can see that Dag could use some guidance in the my most my more experienced areas. Uh, ambitious seems fine. I am bitter rivals with my son. My marshal has uh, told me about a remarkable weaponsmith residing in Bourbon. Very well, fine idea. Let's make a new weapon. As he's growing older, I can see that Dad could use more guidance. We can make him now uh, diligent. Uh, no, I'm not going to suffer a health malice for him in this case. I still want to try to build a light foot modifying weapon. So let's get another axe. This one should hopefully be tier 2 now that we are a duke. Last time we were just a count. An axe. Craft me something of high quality. Oh, please don't tell me it's because I don't have enough cash, but this seems like the exact same option as before. Oh well. It'll be the axe of... the, uh, the axe of otter again. During the afternoon, as I went to check on the progress of Master Herarker, I walked in to see him getting my son Dag to help with the forging process. Dag gets brawny. Alright, it's fine. So my son Dag... Where's Dag at? A lot of pop-ups about Dag. Dag just became ambitious, temperate, and brawny. Suddenly became a much better kid. He's happy. He's happy despite being rivaled with me. Cool. Alright, so, uh... These people, we do have Castispelli again, so we've got Subjugation. We could just go off and attack, like, anybody else. We still need to go way over into that area at some point. And I still also would like to see some... what am I looking for? Technology... I want more shipbuilding tech, so... I would still prefer... 
to stick to coastline. And our leash has really consolidated a lot of this land. We need to become the king. It would be a shame if something were to happen to our leash's uh, dynasty. We've got eight living members off Munso. Lots of Viking looking dudes. Everyone, I mean, if you're a Viking, you have to have a beard, clearly. It's important. Peasant Revolt has ended. We have won. As he's growing older, I can see that Sigurdr could use some stuff. Let's be rivals with everyone. Have them all be murderous bastards. It'll be great. Right, so with you, I also wanted to offer to join your plot. I think I actually have to do from here? No. Offer to join war, offer concubine, uh... Apparently I'm not allowed because I... I'm just not allowed. Okay, fair enough. Alright, uh, we could go raiding. Like, I, I don't really no reason to just be standing down, so I guess we'll do that. Let's, uh, gather all the guys. Let's also create a rally point, since that's a thing that you can do now. Uh, you do that from here. Next time that'll be handy. Don't think we're gonna go all the way to Venice this time around. I think we're gonna go just down into this nice rich duchy over here. Okay, my liege is in that war already. Master Harker's main assistant has brought me the finished axe. There are no engravings or precious metals to enhance it, but the design has some elegance of its own. Looking pretty is not her main purpose anyway. We have received a beautiful new axe. It's a battle axe of the Goot Dynasty. Uh, apparently that's my last uh, my last name. I just always think of myself as Jarl Otter. But yes. Martial combat skill plus one, martial plus one, monthly prestige plus 0.25. That is better than the one that we passed down to our heir. Our heir just has the, uh, nope, never mind, it's totally the exact same. 0.25, one. Martial combat skill of one. Yeah, it's not that great, but it is a battle axe, which sounds better. And that's also important. Alright, let's uh, offer to join. Can we not offer to join? Not allowed to offer to join because we have a non-aggression pact with. I have a non-aggression pact with you? Apparently I do because... Uh, marriage between Malmfrio and Tosti. No wonder I couldn't join the plot. My half-sister's marriage is what's preventing us from doing this. Interesting. Anyway, uh, this guy, if I want to get this other province here, it's non-coastal, so we won't have the ships from that, which would be unfortunate, but this guy has this kid as his liege. We have a truce with him. He lives here. No one seems to want to murder this boy, which is unfortunate. Let's uh, try to plot just to see. A lot of bribable people, and I can get money pretty easily. All right, let's actually go for the plot then. I mean, money's actually pretty easy to come by right this second, now that we can raid. Get a few participants. Let's also check this thing and see if there's anyone we can invite to our court. Could really use a, an upgraded person or two. We'll include bribable people this time around. 18? Yeah. You're Estonian, Suomenusko, so your opinion's gonna be a lot reduced, but... Um, you know, for good measure, make sure no one wants to murder me. I'm just going to send a gift to that guy and also invite him. So that'll be my new diplomat. For martial skill, we've got a guy with 22. It's not that much better than our current martial, and our current martial likes us. Let's just hold on to the one that we have. Stewardship. We can get a 17 stewardship guy over our son. A homo sexual. Sure, I'll invite that guy. Besides, his name is Utter, which means he's clearly the best guy ever. Spy mastery type things. We've got a Norse Germanic guy. Uh, yeah, he's 68, though. We've got a 37-year-old guy with 15. That is significantly better than my concubine. And then lastly, Seer, and freely invite this guy with 19. Let's invite him. All right, and then my son, the guy that is currently here, it's actually my half-brother. Yeah, you're decent, but we're going to replace you, sir. 
Sorry. Okay, uh, let's go to Brugi. The Duchess of Flanders. I want her. I want to capture her. Let's burn down Brugi. Let's wait till all the invitations come in. I think for the for the moment, I'm just going to keep the army together uh, so that we can potentially potentially burn that down and actually, I mean, I'm serious. Like, we can capture her and then turn her into a concubine. It'd be kind of funny. Uh, the following special titles can be granted. Court physician. Doesn't that mean we also usually have a thing to go looking for one? Maybe our our religion or whatever doesn't have one. Mission of runestone for prestige. Well, prestige is what's limiting me from building the buildings that I want right now. So yes, let's build a runestone. It will speak of... Uh, clearly we need to write... <laughs> no, no. I was going to say we got to write about our father first, but I'm I, this character is way better. Way better. My wisdom must be pre preserved. Wait, what? <clears throat> I'm confused. The artisans who will carve and paint the runestone are asking for instructions. Which of your, which of your qualities will, should it speak of? This option is available because you have the genius trait. Uh, I'm not a genius. <laughs> the runes must say that I had the strength of ten men. I'm also not strong. I'm brawny. Not strong. I am humble. I am, I am zealous. My bonds... My strong bonds to Odin. Right, let's at least do one that's real. Because I'm not strong. I'm not a strong genius. That's funny. Okay, these new holdings here then. Um, I want to cycle through the holdings and get the levy up on the smallest ones. Because I want <clears throat> I want every army to be like a decent size. That's my goal right now. I also want the Earthen Hill Fort in the capital. Also, we are now gaining technology because we are a uh, Duke tier character. Also, I want to try to invite military men who have siege. We can invite a siege leader with three whole siege pips. 46% siege bonus. That's insane. Alright, let's go ahead and replace our positions now. We had a new Chancellor. We had a new... Marshal, no. We had a new Steward, yes. <clears throat> new Spymaster was this guy. Couldn't hurt to give my spy master some money. Apparently I've already given him money. Alright, he's upset about the short reign. My personal diplomacy because of my ugly face. The fact that I'm cruel, etc. It happens, you know. Let's build some zeal. Let's study technology. Uh, apparently we can actually study all the way down to here now. And that's at 776. So... Yes, let's study down to there. Okay, um, beyond that, we could organize a raid. We can, we're can. we training troops right now in, uh, I think, down here. <clears throat> I think I want to go back to organizing the army. Keep on trying to find new, new brawny advisors and stuff. And as soon as our new guy gets here, let's go to commanders and get him assigned. We have four commanders. Beautiful. They're all pretty good, in fact. 35, 34% pursuits. This guy's just got, uh, you know what, half-brother, sorry, but uh, I'm going to have to go with the siege leader here. Just speeds things up way too much. Siege leader, 46, it's like having 46% more troops, you know, it's insane. Thanks to my wise stewardship of Ostrogothia, the local thieves guild has been eradicated. Still have a smuggler's ring there. There are many mysteries in the Germanic faith. It might be interesting to listen to the more ancient stories told by the Godies. I shall summon storytellers. All right, sure. I must be a sinner. I need to become a sinner at some point in the near future. The stone is raised. The rune stone you commissioned has been fixed and raised on the spot you chose for it. You examine the runes. Oder, Otter, rather, maybe, son of the wild, ordered this stone raised in, in honor of the gods. No one was more devoted to Odin, and no one was more deserving of a place in Valhalla. These runes were carved by Grimm and painted by Borkvard. You leave the stone, content in the knowledge that many centuries from now, when its paint has long lost its long since faded, scholars will be studying these rune carvings in an effort to glean the wisdom off the words. 200 prestige, 100 piety, uh, we get raised runestone, monthly piety, and we also get diplomacy and general opinion for two years. Okay, um... I think I will get some crown jewels next, even if they are crappy. 
Maybe we should bring over a bunch more cash this time around. Get like a thousand ducats just in case. Alright, so they're actually going to come try to fight us. They are coming in with the uh, 871 light cav, 200 heavy cav. But, you know, we have a veritable horde of infantry. I feel I feel good about this. Let's uh, put a, a better guy here for now. Let's put, uh, like, you there. And uh, you can be there. So your leader, your modifier is what again? All right, we'll just take the 15 because it's decent. Let's see how we do. After a successful siege, we have captured one kid. He's got a, he's got pretty eyes. It's a one-year-old, sickly, child that's in a in my dungeon now. Um, is there one more probable person? Is above 100. percent I actually don't have the money to send any more gifts right this second. Uh, or six gold for that child? Great. Okay, so uh, we just routed the crap out of the center, and the left, and the right, and we're good. Yep. They're just gonna keep piling in though, it looks like. This is upon your house, I agree to pay your ransom. Cool. Is that her heir? Is that why she's willing to pay so much? It is. The Hitanid dynasty. It's not even her dynasty. Duke Thuringus of Flanders. It's a regular marriage, even though she's the Duchess. So actually, come to think of it, if she's the Duchess and we make babies with them, with her, by capturing her, then we could get claims on that province. Not that I really need them. The 1500 troops coming this way. Truces are expiring with uh, Huygen the Cruel. It's not actually who I'm trying to kill right now. Um, leave that pot open. It's like we're fighting again. Ah, crap. I accidentally have an unappointed leader. Whoopsie. It's okay though, we've got 1500 troops and we're fearless, so... In the past few months you've spent many nights listening to the old myths and stories of the Germanic faith. The tales tale told of the Allfather are most inspiring and contain much wisdom that can help you in your daily life. We get religious studies plus one learning and... We also get ancient wisdom for a while plus one learning. And some piety. Always nice. They are really, uh, really piling in here, huh? Come on, route that center so that we can get some flanking going. My right fell because I lost that, didn't have a leader. My left also fell, but we routed the center. We still have 1,400 troops. It's about equal. It's going to come down to what kind of rolls we do. We are about to route the right, and now we're going to route the left, and we're still holding in there. More reinforcements have arrived, and we're routed. Okay, well that's unfortunate. We still gained some military technology points though. Lost some prestige. We did manage to burn down the top holding and gather 62 ducats. So not exactly the the best raid here. Uh, I still think that it's usually going to be better for me to go after the the churches and that kind of stuff than it is to uh, I do this other type of raiding. Problem is that it's one big huge guy, so he can he can really easily raise a lot of troops. Let's go raid Cologne for a little bit. And we actually get to Trier from this this uh, ocean tile, this water tile. Looks like yes. We can raid both bishoprics at the same time. And this time, if I see an army that's large enough, I'm just going to leave. Our war camp is complete. Fourth of. Uh, Yeah, I missed, uh, missed my timing. I need an organizer. I need an organizer, quick! We have a bribable organizer. And also, isn't my marshal an organizer? He is. So let's um, tell him to stop doing that. Let's put him in charge of this army for now. And he's going to provide us with a massive uh, movement speed bonus of 40%, getting us out one day early! Back onto the boats. Let's get our siege leader guy over here. 
See, there's a chance we can actually burn down this bishopric in time. He's heading to mines on the 14th. Let this army go that way as well. You want me to become your marshal? I do accept. Uh, however, I'm not willing to lead troops. Well, for the moment. I just want my leader to do it. Because the last time that happened, I lost my face. Unfortunately, it looks like we are not going to be able to loot that thing down. Francia is going to be difficult to deal with. Uh, it's just not going to be likely, I think. Still church there, too. We could also stop poking the beast for a bit, give him a moment to stand his armies down. Or just go look for some wealth elsewhere. Like, these guys are going to be the easiest, honestly, because they're, they're so tiny that they can't defend themselves. Or like, say, this guy. Let's go to Kent. Alright, I'm going to take a short break here. <clears throat> I'll be back in the next episode, though. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the campaign, and I'll see you soon.